Hello there, it's Graciela on the side of the screen. Several months ago, I posted a very low quality video about how to read from dynamic Excel files using Power Automate. In this hopefully better quality video, I'm going to show you how to write into dynamic Excel files. That means that we don't know in advance which is the file that we are going to add rows to, and it's going to be a file that is going to be generated every time our Power Automate flow runs. In this case, what we want is to add new records into our SharePoint list that contains training roster information in which we just add the title of the training, when it's happening, and who are the employees that are attending. And what we want is to transfer this information, the, diff the list of the different employees, into this very simple template. So you can see that this template has a table, a defined table here, that is called list and it has four different columns, and that is what we want to transfer from our SharePoint list. We want to leave the signature column blank because that's where the employees will sign the roster. So without further ado, let's get started. The first thing I'm going to do, I'm going to SharePoint to create a folder that is going to contain my template and also the generated Excel files. Then I'm going into that folder and I'm going to just upload my template and then I'm going to create a new folder that will contain all my generated templates. I will just go ahead and create and now we're ready to go to Power Automate and start a new flow. We're going to use an automated cloud flow because we want this to run every time someone comes to this SharePoint list and adds a new record. So we're going to use when a new item is created trigger and we're just going to call it like that. Then I'm just going to hit on create and I will select what's my SharePoint address and also what's the list name that I'm going to use for this flow, which is the training roster one. Then for now, because we want to generate the base code, uh, what I'm going to do is I'm just going to create a new step and I'm going to use directly the Excel online connector. So this is going to help me to see how the code should look and how it should be whenever I get prompted to add a new row. So we're just going to go here to this uh, action, which is add a new row into a table. We're just going to select the SharePoint site that we're going to work with and then the document library which is the file for now. Remember that we're just testing with this. So we're going to use a template for now. And then we're going to uh, use dynamic files once we understand how the code uh, should look. Sorry, I selected my testing um, folder there. So let's go here. And here it is. Now I'm going to use this table called list as we saw that is called. Then it's going to ask me what's the title and I want to map that to the training title. Then the name of my um, employees, it's here listed in the SharePoint display name employees column. And finally, the email. Then I'm just going to hit save and let's test this. And I will just go here and add a new record. And let's hit save. And it should start running soon. Okay, so it just ran. So what I care about here is opening my add a row into a table action and see the outputs. You see that it has the column names here. So we're, I'm just gonna copy all of this and I will open a notepad and paste it here. Then uh, now that I, I know how the code uh, should look or at least an approximation on how the end code should look, I will just go back to edit and then I will go back to my template and delete it because here uh, the employees were added and we don't want that. We want the template to be empty every time that we create a copy of it. So I will just delete it and upload again my file. So here we go. And I will just go back to Power Automate and I'm going to, um, to make the copy of the file we just need to get the content of it and we're connecting to SharePoint. So we're going to use this SharePoint connect this SharePoint action. 
again let's select the um, address and what's the file we're working with this is in shared documents and then the training roster and then the roster template and what we want to do is to create a new file out of that content because we're going to create a copy of the template and write on the copy of the template so i will just go ahead and create and it's the same about selecting the folders and the address now in this case what i want to do is i want to keep my template here and i want to keep all the generated files here under the training folder then for the file name i'm just going to select the title of the training and then add the excel extension and finally in the content we want the same content from the template okay now we have uh, the file here and then i can go here to my add row into a table action and this is where we're changing things because at the beginning we selected a specific file that we're go going to work with a dynamic file so for dynamic files we always need the id of the file and that comes here from uh, the id unique id of file or folder uh, in this case when i created my new template the new the, the copy of my template that automatically generates the id but if you need to grab the id from somewhere you need to use the get file properties action in power automate if your action doesn't contain what's the id so once we have this here we just uh, of course now it doesn't know what the table is so it doesn't recognize anything so i'm just going to close it and we're going to click here on custom value enter custom value we go to expression and here i'm just going to write concat and then open parentheses and then single quotes and let's write the name of our table if you remember the name of our table is list so i'm just gonna type it in and it needs to be exactly the same name that we have otherwise it's not going to be recognized then we hit ok and after that you see that we have this row uh, section here so then is when the code that we just copied comes really handy so i'm just gonna copy it and paste it into the row section and uh, we know that we have these three columns we know that internal id e tag and context were things that uh, excel added so i'm just gonna delete them because i know that this is not something that i have to send to the action it's going to be generated by it whenever the line is added so i'm just going to leave here the column names of course you can build your own uh, json payload here and just remember to put the very exact column names but i always like to go to the code that excel generates to make sure i don't have any typo or typo or anything like that so that's what i just copy and paste it but you can totally write it yourself as well if you prefer that's totally okay so then i'm just gonna select again what's the title of the uh, training then i'm going to select again the name that's the display name and finally their email so then i'm just gonna click on save and we're gonna test again let's add a new sharepoint record so i just selected several users and then i'm going to click on save and we're gonna see how our flow will now generate a new template and add rows into it if i go back to my sharepoint site then i refresh now you see here that i have my file with the same title that i created my uh, record with and then if i open this sometimes it takes a minute or two for all the rows to be added because excel needs to refresh the information so we're just going to go here if you're sending this as an attachment or something it's a good idea to just add a delay of a minute or two and then get the content of the file again and then send it because it takes a couple of seconds for the automation to refresh uh, everything in the excel server so now you see i have the very same users that i added here in my sharepoint list they are now added into my excel template and i just created a brand new file i was not writing into the original template this will stay as the template that i will use as base for every new record 
So now we have learned how to write into dynamic Excel files that you create on the go every time a Power Automate flow runs. And that's it for now. Thank you so much for watching and see you next time.